Psalms 39. To the chief musician, uh, bear with me, my ears. To the chief musician, even to Jeduthim. And Jeduthim is a Levite, chief singer and instructor. You'll find it in the Bible. A Psalm of David. I said, David, I will take heed to my ways. I'm going to watch what I'm doing. I'm going to keep an eye out that I sin not with the tongue. I will keep my mouth with with a bridle. And that's what you use for an animal. While the wicked is before me. David's like, when I'm in the presence of the evil wicked man, I'm just going to, I'm not going to say nothing. I'm not going to argue with them. I'm not going to debate with them. Sometimes it's just best to keep your mouth shut. I was dumb with silence. And dumb in the Bible doesn't mean duh. Dumb means you can't talk. And many times in, in the gospel, Jesus had a dumb man and he, he healed his, his speech. I held my peace. I was quiet. Even from good. Even if it was something good to say, I didn't say it. And my sorrow was stirred. He wanted to say something. He wanted to do something right. And he didn't. And a lot of times with the, world, with the wicked and evil world, it's just better to hush. Quiet. Unless you got somebody who, who's willing to listen and willing not to argue and see what the Bible has to say. Other than that, it's just an arguing match, which will have no value. And this is true for people with religion, especially Jehovah Witnesses. Just Now, when they come to my door, my house, if I have estimated that one of them is a young Jehovah Witness and doesn't know any better... Then I will go Bible arguing for the sake of that young one. But if, if they're mature in the religion of Joe, I won't even, I'll throw the scriptures at them. I'll tell them what, what uh, 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 Thomas said. I'll leave it at that. My heart was hot within me while I was musing. The fire burned then spank I with my tongue. This is Christian heartburn. Look at Jeremiah 15 5. Jeremiah 15 5. And you'll see more of what's going on here. And when we take these verses together, then we'll see what the real picture is. So there's two sides of the story. Jeremiah 15, 15. O Lord, thou knowest, remember me. That was last night's song. Visit me and avenge me of my persecutors. Take me not away with long suffering. Know that for thy sake I have suffered rebuke. Thy words were found in my were found, and I did eat them. And thy word was unto me the joy and rejoicing of my heart. For I am called by the name of the Lord of hosts. I sat in the assembly of mockers. There's David right now. Nor rejoice. I sat alone because of thy hand. And thou hast filled me with indignation. He's getting angry with these people. And I apologize for one thing. Because I just can just. My head is echoing with what I'm saying. Why is my pain perpetual? And my wound incurable? which refuses to be healed, wilt thou altogether unto me be as wilt thou be altogether unto me as a liar and as waters of fail? And this is times for David and Jeremiah before a people and just silence. Silence. And then David speaks as Lord make me to know my end. And the measures of my days, what it is, that I may know how frail I am. 
He's David telling God, say, God, how long do I have left on this earth? Are my days long? Can I do much for you? Are my days short? I'm coming to the end and I want to know when I when my time is. Behold, and do we know David lived to a ripe old age? Behold, thou hast made my days as a hand breath, short. And my age is nothing before thee. Imagine God has no age. God is eternal past. Uh, 6,000, 7,000 years in time period since God made the sun, the moon, and the stars. And then God will be forever eternal after. <coughs> what is 100 years to God? It's nothing. Verily, every man at his best state is altogether vanity. Selah. Man lives a hundred years old. What is it? It's, it's vanity. Wood, hay, or stubble. No value. Nothing to come of it. And more so of a wicked man. What is his entire life without Jesus Christ? It's a waste. And at the great white throne judgment, the lost man has nothing. Only thing he has is his name in the, in the Lamb's Book of Life. At least for the Christian, he has anything that's given to the Lord Jesus Christ or anything given to self. We, I mean, they say, when you die, you can't take it with you. In a kind of a way for a Christian, that's not true. When we die, Christian, we carry gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, or stubble. And wood, hay, and stubble are works for ourselves, not for the Lord, burns up. Gold, silver, precious stones, crowns, rewards, and inheritance. But how much of a Christian life Let's say a Christian would live a hundred years saved. And out of that hundred years, of those years, a hundred years of being saved, how much would be for the Lord and how much would be for self? Would also work out to be vanity. Any wood, hay, or stubble is, is vanity. It has no value. People marvel, we just had here Daytona Beach, we just had the Daytona 500. Whoopie-doo, what does that do in glory? Nothing. Nothing at all. If you're into basketball and you get the finals of the basketball, what's that do? For the angel, nothing. The World Series, nothing. Whatever you favor, the Tonys, the Oscars, or what do they all approve? They spend millions and billions of dollars on years' finals of whatever you like. Trophies and rewards and, and gala and meetings and the, the, the cameras and all that. And glory. It's vanity. It's vanity. Surely. Every man walketh in vain, show. Surely they are disquieted in vain. Vain is empty, nothing. He heapeth up riches, he gets rich. And he knows not who gathers them. That prodigal son came to the father and said, Father, give me my goods now. Inheritance. And the kid went off and wasted it. You may have a, you take a multi-million dollar man. He's got riches. He's got business. He's got companies. He's got riches. And when he dies, he may leave it to children that are stupid. 
He may leave it to somebody who will have no value. There are people who have riches. They may not have a lot of money. But then when they die, they give their riches to the dog. They give it to the cat. They give it to an animal. Food. And it just goes for pet food. And to deflee a cat. That's nothing. And sometimes if you die without a will, then the government decides who gets it and who don't get it, and it goes to nothing. And now, Lord, what wait I for? Of all the vanity, Lord. And it comes down to the basic fact today. I wish my ear would open as far as man in 2020, you know what? He pretty much gets the same size casket. He gets the same size hole. Now, he may have a bigger headstone than, than somebody else. He may be in a mausoleum than somebody else. But he ends up in a hole. And you can put things in the casket. You can put things in the mausoleum. You can bury him in his Spencer sports car. But it ain't going to do him no good. It would be just a waste. Those pharaohs, they, they buried everything in their tomb. And all that is decorating museums. And it's decorating museums basements the stuff they haven't even brought out yet stuff they haven't even discovered yet vain worthless but he says my hope is in thee lord and that's not vain and the reach of the of the gold to the lord and for the christian that is gold silver and precious stone and that gets us rewards that gets the lord to say well done Deliver me from all my transgressions. And we saw that in chapter 38. Lord, I'm a sinner. And I need to be delivered from those sins. Make me not the reproach of foolish. I was dumb and I opened not my mouth. Because thou did it. In Ezekiel 3.26 Ezekiel 3.26. We see the Lord with Ezekiel. And I will make thy tongue cleave to the roof of thy mouth. And thou shalt be dumb. And shalt not be to them a reprover. For they are a rebellious house. Almost like David. And they, uh, the Lord shut Ezekiel's mouth and said, don't you tell them anything. Now, David did the shutting up himself. But even then, he said, right here, he says, the Lord shut me up. And if Ezekiel wanted to answer Judah, God's like, no, you're not. Not unless I tell you to speak. Remove thy stroke away from me. Now, in Ezekiel, that stroke was his wife dying. Ezekiel said, I forget how he described it, but he loved his wife. He said, the Lord took her with a stroke. In this case, it's funny how these two show up, but it's not a stroke of David's wife. It's the stroke that God has made David unable to speak. And David wants to speak. And I am consumed by the blow of thy hand. God has put me in a place. God has put me in a position. I can't speak. I want to speak. When thou, God, with rebuke, does correct man for iniquity. There's a correction of God. The prophets. Preaching to Israel. You better get right. You better get back to the law. You better do right. Thou makest his beauty to consume away like a moth. 
Bible says beauty is vain, Proverbs 31. Old age. You see people today with these illegal drugs, and they'll show you a picture of what they look like when they're young and all that, and then you look at their face and they're just battered because of the drugs. When you look at somebody who's been drinking alcohol many, many years of their, of their life and you can look on their face and say, you're ill. The stress upon your face will, will ruin the beauty. What the Bible calls the continents. Surely every man is vanity. Sila. Not Sila. It's a type of any, uh, of the second advent reference, but David say, what is it all? Like his son will say in the song uh, uh, Ecclesiastes. What is it all? It's vain. It's worthless. Whatever the world goes after is vain. You know, they, they make a big gala of this Tony and Oscars. And they make this big thing of the, uh, the, these cups, trophies. And then once they are won on that evening or afternoon, usually Sundays, quite interesting, where are they after that? Where are they? What's so important about them? They're hidden away in a house where no one can see them. Don't do me no good. The person dies. They had the, all those rewards. What's it happened to that? Get thrown in the garbage. Traded at a pawn store. Maybe, you know, vain. But yet for the Christian, gold, silver, precious stone gets us crowns and an inheritance. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and give ear unto my cry. Listen up, God. Hold not thy peace at my tears. Lord, I'm crying. I'm tearing. Please, Lord, listen to my tears. For I am a stranger with thee. David saying, Lord, we're not together. You don't know who I am. And a sojourner, that's somebody that is, they, they travel. And they go to an inn, they stay, they sleep overnight, maybe a couple days, they pack up and they just move somewhere else. They have no dwelling place. As all my fathers were. And that's what Israel just moved from place to place to place. Oh, spare me. That I may recover strength. Taken down. Before I go hence. Before I go further. And be no more. Death. Lord, I want to say something to them. But their life is all vain. Why waste my breath? And as for me, Lord, hear me, Lord, please. Before I die. 